Hi, and welcome to another Aqua Ionizer Pro video. Uh, thanks for taking some time to, you know, check us out and watch and learn a little bit more about water. So today's video is about uh, bottled water and doing a testing uh, using a couple of different methodologies to check on the health benefits, the quality of, and um, dive a little deeper into, you know, each of these bottled waters. So we chose five of the uh, more popular brands that we've seen, uh, whether it's from people that we see at the gym, uh, people that call in and ask about, you know, their specific type of waters. So we have Aquafina, Dasani, Smart Water, Nestle Pure Life, and Walmart's uh, private labeled Great Value brand. So the first test that we're gonna do is an ORP, or also known as a redox test, which is a test which measures how oxidizing or anti-oxidizing a solution is. So the solution here being obviously water. So a value that is positive, such as the value here on Aquafina, is telling us that this water is actually very oxidizing uh, with over a plus 330, what's called ORP. So oxidization can occur in a couple different ways. We often see it in things like the browning of an apple or when we see rust uh, on like metal. Um, and there's a similar reaction in our body, which occurs and is actually the leading factor for disease. So oxidization can cause free radicals to occur. Free radicals are actually uh, what damage our cells, uh, our DNA, and cause us issues um, both externally, like on a physical manifestation outside the body, and as well as internally with um, degenerative diseases, uh, for example. So externally, we see oxidization occurs like with our wrinkles on our skin, um, actual like aging, physical looking issues. And internally, we can see that uh, oxidization, oh, smart water is actually very high, uh, over a three, 340 looks like, um, can cause issues such as like diseases in the body, um, aches and pains. So when we talk about oxidization, um, it also affects inflammation. So inflammation, um, like you've heard of like Advil and Tylenol, they're anti-inflammatories. Um, inflammation causes like aches and pains in the body, knees, hips, you know, shoulders, anywhere that you're kind of been hurting. So these waters, um, while they are, you know, marketed as like being very clean and pure and healthy, uh, they're, they're all oxidizing. So they all cause oxidization in the body. So uh, even the, the Nestle brand, which is one of the more popular brands of bottled water as well, uh, over a 340. So while we don't necessarily need to say that these are unhealthy waters, they're definitely not contributing to better health um, with a positive oxidization. So the opposite of oxidization is anti-oxidization, right? Antioxidants. So a lot of us have heard antioxidants thrown around and what that is and what that means. And antioxidants are uh, oftentimes in like fruits and vegetables, green tea, uh, a lot of like juices. So uh, we can actually also create this in the water. So the next cup we're gonna try out um, is one of our samples of our alkaline ionized water from one of our aqua ionizer machines. And you see, once you put it in there, it immediately goes to a deeply negative number. So right now we're looking at minus 420, give or take. So that tells us that this water is an antioxidant. It is anti-oxidizing. So it is not only um, going to be a clean, pure, you know, delicious tasting water, but it actually contributes to a better level of health uh, in your body. And not only is this water like healthier from an ORP standpoint, it's also what we call micro clustered. So instead of a large clustering of water molecules, um, it's actually reduced down and smaller. So it's a lot more absorbable. So you have the antioxidant benefit to go along with the 
micro clustered water benefit. And so we're just kind of gonna bring the, the meter back around um, just to show you, you know, the differences between the, the alkaline ionized water and some of the, the bottled water. So as we saw, all of these bottled waters all had a highly positive um, ORP value. So this is telling us that these are obviously all oxidizing. And while they're not, again, necessarily terribly harmful to our body, they're definitely not doing anything to help neutralize these free radicals in the body um, and, you know, be antioxidants and kind of, you know, assist with, you know, not all of us can eat fruits and vegetables and be super healthy all day, every day. Um, so that's kind of where the alkaline ionized water really plays a major role in giving your body sort of a, a boost or um, an assist, if you will, to help, you know, heal itself and figure out what's going on. And um, the body's a pretty amazing place when you don't need to supplement with crazy things, but if you just give your body a better environment and allow itself to heal and kind of do what it's supposed to do, you know, and give it a, a fuel to, to, you know, a fuel to use, um, it makes a big difference and, and the body's miraculously able to really heal itself in a lot of different ways. So again, we see, you know, all these, you know, bottled waters have that pretty positive, um, highly oxidizing value. Uh, so just to kind of um, do another little demonstration and show you just some of the other um, quality checks that we use to see you know, how healthy or unhealthy some of these bottled waters are, we're gonna do use this red pH reagent. So the pH reagent actually changes colors depending on the actual pH of the liquid that you're testing. So the pH scale goes from a one to 14, 14 being highly alkaline, one being very acidic. So looking at all these waters, we see that um, Aquafina and Dasani to start very acidic on the on the scale. Uh, Smart Water a little bit closer to a neutral but still acidic. Nestle uh, also very yellow, very acidic. The uh, Walmart Great Value brand looking like it's got a little bit of a green tint, so closer to neutral but still a little maybe on the acidic side. And then the alkaline ionized water very alkaline. 